ahead of the 2023 general election. <laughs> the crisis rocking the People's Democratic Party, PDP, has gone from bad to worse. In the latest twists, the man at the center of the crisis <laughs> and the governor of River State, Wilson Wiki, accused the PDP national chairman, Yocha Ayu, and the party's presidential flag bearer, Atiko Baka, of insincerity and manipulation of the primary election in May. Governor Wiki accused Ayu of masterminding his loss of, of the ticket by reaching out to other contestants to step down for Atiku. He insisted that Ayu must go. Majid, you saw, you saw Wiki, Governor Wiki and in Port Harcourt during that um, live interview. He spoke for almost two hours or over two hours. And no, no. very interesting. Yeah, uh, uh, what I, I you know, my submission was like, look, there seemed not to be a, an end to this crisis within the People's Democratic Party. You know what I, you no, know, I, I, I spoke. To, you know, Jide was one of the panelists uh, himself, Benga uh, Uleba, Shingo Kibalu, and uh, the lady from NTA. You know. After the interview I called Jide, I said, Jide, come. Was that thing real? What was my impression? Or of course, I know I think you will tell us. Because I was like, from my own, as a student of psychology, from what Wiki, from those things Wiki said at the interview, even if IU resigns today, I think Atiku will not trust him. And I doubt if you can trust Atiku again. Now leave, let's leave Ayu. All these things they are saying that Ayu can, and I expect that Atiku would prevail on Ayu to step down for the sake of the people, the party, to increase the chances of the party. You no, know, Okowa was in Lagos about two weeks ago when they came from the for the southwest thing, and Okowa admitted that. The emergence of Peter Obi of the Labour Party will impact more negatively on the votes of PDP in the southwest and the south, south and southeast, more than the, the negative impact it would have on APC. And we can corroborate that in that in interview that there are three key states in Nigeria. If you fail, if you're any, any, any president that would emerge, if any president fails to win, Two out of the three states, that's Lagos, Kano, and Rivers. Those are the three highest states in terms of how critical they are and in terms of votes. And besides, there is no way, as a week of talking as a member of the PDP, so there's no way Atiku will win in Lagos, there's no way Atiku will win in uh, Kano, and now Rivers, with the way they are fighting him, he doubt if he would ever win Rivers. He said that's zero over three. So I I don't see how Atiku, with his experience in politics, will allow this matter to drag from May till now. We are just four days, uh, no less than three days, to the commencement of campaigns. So how Atiku or PDP will campaign in the South South? without a wiki and expect to win the presidential election leaves much to be desired. All right. That interview exposed a lot. Mm. And it is serious for the and, um, You listened to Governor Wiki throughout and uh, you might have even um, spoken to him off, um, behind um, you know, after the interview session and everything. And the wiki you saw does he look as if he's a man that is ready to back down and embrace peace? The I, way he has gotten to. I met him the night before the interview. Um, after we got to Port Harcourt, he sent for us. And I asked him, I said, you have sent for us. Do you want to outline the no-go areas. And he said, no, TVC man, ask me any question that 
you feel that you can ask me, this time around, I want to talk. Ah, that's the best thing that anybody can say to me yes, because I didn't want to go to the interview that's um, where I will have told me, don't ask yes. this, don't ask that. No, why should <laughs> I want to do that kind of interview? And I felt that, well, what is important is let's push him to talk. Let's, let's draw words out of his mouth. That is the job of a journalist who, who has to do an interview. And on the day, I observed that we were supposed to give him 10 minutes for his opening remarks. We ended up spending more than 30 minutes for opening remarks. We spoke with him for like one hour, 46 minutes, not, not up to two hours in the final analysis because our labor was insisting that it should not be up to three hours. Left for him, he was ready to go for three hours. But I never said, no, we can't do three hours here. But I see, I saw a week that is extremely stubborn. Someone that once he makes up his mind, I don't think, Anyone can convince him. I don't know anyone now in Nigeria. Maybe when Jonathan was president and he was a minister, I don't see anyone who can tell Wiki, look, I'm your leader. Enough. I've not seen that person. And in all my interactions with him, because I interacted with him for almost two hours before even the interview, and after it, I have not seen anyone who has that grip on him, who has that influence. He sees himself as a leader. He sees himself as someone who has contributed so much to the party and who cannot be treated with levity. He, he thinks that, look, there are some things that we've said here before in this program that how come PDP has so many southern governors Yet it wasn't their own party that came up with the idea of power shift to the South. A lot of them, including Wiki, are still bitter that this happened. And that's why Wiki kept referring to the fact that it's, it's in the constitution of the PDP to zone party positions. But when they got to the presidential uh, um, uh, ticket, they refused to zone. That is one of the things that he holds against the party, that they should have zoned the thing to the South. Mm. Because it's in the Constitution. So when we talk about the fact that the Constitution says, ah, if the chairman resigns, the next person, the person that will take over from the chairman is the deputy chairman not. Wike is now saying, no, the day look at the constitution when they decided not to zone. Did the constitution not say you must zone? It says shall, because it's the word shall that was used in the constitution, which is emphatic. So he is now saying the two of them must leave and that the neck can take that decision. How does the, the neck, mm -hmm. headed by the chairman, are you, mm -hmm. call a meeting? Are you will not even call a meeting? Of, it's just like Bukola Saraki, when it became clear to him that they wanted to impeach him in the Senate, he refused to convince the Senate. Yes. He was just giving no, instruction no. to the clerk. No, don't call him. Don't, don't call a meeting. Don't call a meeting. And he survived it. So the situation that they found themselves now, I don't think this matter will be resolved, though. One, Atiku thinks that, okay, even if the if IU gives way, and the deputy national chairman also gives way. Mm. Then it goes to the south. It goes to the deputy national chairman. South. Arakwaja is. Um, Tarid. Yes, yeah, Arakwaja is uh, Sheima Kinde's person. He made sure that Arakwaja wins. Mm. Sheima Kinde is Wiki's person. He's mm. probably the most visible governor behind Wiki now. Because of Tom, uh, I think he was ill, so it's not been going with him everywhere. So, Atiku will then say, ah, power will go to 
weak case person because uh, Mark in this person too, is no. also weak yes. case person. So he would think that if I will go to Arakwaja, who is Mark in this person, therefore he won't be comfortable to have such a person as chairman. This is the calculation that all of them are having. Wiki knows what he wants. Atiku also knows what he wants. But I, I, I also think that people should not make promises that they cannot fulfill. Mm. This is what led us to mm. this. Mm. If you met with them in London and you, are, you said to them that, look, how you must go. And you said, okay, when we get back to Nigeria, we will have meetings. And you refuse to call meetings since then so that you can go. You refuse to honor your word. If IU, because on record, that IU said they will step down. If a Nottana becomes the, the, the standard bearer of the, the party, party, presidential yeah. standard bearer of the party. Yes. So why is IU refusing to honor his word? Mm. So because. if people fail to honor their word, it leads to uh, um, this kind of problems. Mm. This is all about interests, survival, life after 2023, and within the People's Democratic Party, when you look at the dynamics, perhaps Atiku felt that this was his best opportunity without Muhammadu Buhari being on the ballot to clinch that presidency since 1992. But lo and behold, Peter will be left that party, and that's, uh, and maybe that might cost him the old southern part of the country, yes. or mm. the southeastern part of the country. Now, it's on Wiki. It's on Wiki, unarguably, the governor that controls the South South, uh, the biggest voting block in the South South. <laughs> yes, because the, the political regionalists have, uh, <laughs> <laughs> have spoken before me. Well, I think, uh, uh, you know, as your Bible would say, I alone park bone, that's what I'm saying. If, uh, <laughs> <laughs> and you know my position. If we if we really have, you know, a, a real, you know, thought force shaking mm -hmm. this country, they won't be they won't even be dreaming. There are many people there who should not be, you know, dreaming of this thing. But you know, talking about uh, and it's difficult to because I, I don't do political. I'm not on the field. I don't have the privilege of interviewing them like uh, you know GD you know has really. But again, it will seem as if obviously. Uh, you know, Wiki has a case, and he has been pushing this and pushing this. And you know, there's also a way when you push things, people start feeling that uh, the, the thing may become the proverb of the of uh, the of uh, the the tortoise. Eh? Mm. You know, who, who said oh, my, my in-laws stole and <laughs> wanted everybody to uh, you know disgrace and then waited and that kind of thing. The other point is also that now we're hearing the whole process was manipulated and all those kind of mm. things. If Atiku had picked Wiki as mm. vice president, mm. would have got to, going to be you know hearing you know all this thing about you know whatever. So which means that uh, within the camp of politicians, mm. one just have to be very very you know careful. Uh, this war that looks like war now. You never know what will happen tomorrow. And uh, the, those who invited, who interviewed Wiki where he was threatening fire and brimstone would also be invited to come and witness them sharing the ice cream. Maybe <laughs> my brother G.D. <laughs> you know, will be, will be invited. Ah, this one. This but, one. But it's, it's so, like, like he said, uh, I, I feel that, uh, but definitely 2023 uh, will be quite, you know, complicated. And we mm. have to be very, very uh, circumspect in looking at, you know, perspectives of what, you know, may happen. Um, looking at the geography of politics today, like he said, uh, obese votes, mm. you know, may also you know, encroach into some, you know, PDP territories. But we also have to recognize, too, that some of these states are traditionally PDP. Mm. And this is where the wicked thing becomes, you know, difficult. Because it really... He, he, at the same time, he said, oh, the flag bearer of APC offered me something I did not take. So you are, what, what exactly will be his position? Will he, will he be in that position to be able to swing the entire population? Because in the political balance of Nigeria, what you need to win the presidential race 
We should also not forget. Mm. So even though those big, big three states, mm. you, you need to win majority of the votes, mm -hmm. and you need to win 25% uh, of the votes mm. 24, in 24 states. states. Mm. That is what you need to, do to win. And we need to go back to past uh, elections to look at how you know, that the spread. Geography. Mm. What we can say for now is that Obi's entry as because it is bringing a new dimension that people you know, did not see much as people have said, oh, it's a social media phenomenon. Or you might also be seeing you know, some other things. But I, I'm really not so interested in you know, discussing all these intrigues. Because like I said, you never know what will happen you know, tomorrow. And the dynamics friends, of the whole thing will suddenly, mm -hmm. suddenly change. But there's no doubt that uh, you know, the party that is facing the bigger crisis now we are speaking of internal crisis, mm. as we look at 2023, it's mm. obviously the PDP because of this, uh, mm. you know, wiki, you know, factor, mm. and uh, you know the difficulty, you know, in managing them. It's also all about, you know, interests, and and so you are looking at a situation where possibly an article. So you had an art, an article on Abasanjo, and Abasanjo had a very powerful article. Was a powerful vice president mm. to Abasanjo, and it caused a problem. I have a feeling that. He too, if he wants to become president, he doesn't want a very powerful, and that an attempt to run from that mm. has created this, you know, a, I think you know the, problem the, one within, of the things, uh, within the party. Um, the candidate reserves the right to pick whoever he wants as his deputy. His well, uh, yeah. I think Atiku made a mistake when he allowed them to do a shortlist for him, and then. Um, the, the committee then advised him that the, look mm. in this order. In this and Wiki clearly came first. All of the governors, even the way the primaries went, none of the current governors of the PDP can come close to Wiki in terms of popularity across Nigeria. So, so you should have known that in such a situation, that committee would likely put forward someone like Wiki once he appeared on the list. But once that, uh, the, once it was presented to Atiku, Atiku then decided not to choose the person who clearly in the reckoning of the committee members came first. That further angered him. Yeah. Because he didn't want, he didn't want to be VP from the beginning. But the, some stakeholders within the party were the ones who drafted, drafted put his name on that list okay. against his wish. In fact, he was saying that he regretted not stopping that from happening, that he listened to some of his own people who said, no, let's just do it. Now, the verdict was clearly wicked, number one. Atiku then decided not to go for number one. So given what had happened, he then felt this person doesn't, just doesn't like me and know yeah. that. So yeah. uh, he, he, he's pushing for the South to be better represented. I think he has a point there. Until the BOT chairman decided to step down. Virtually every position of value was held by the North in the PDP. So, yeah. and he's saying, look, you have the, the, the BOT chairman decided to step down, but that's, it's, it's, that's it's not enough. Yes, because so it doesn't... My, my, mm. my take on all this, however, mm. is that uh, mm -hmm. whether they have internal problems or not, we know and we're hoping that the security situation will improve. We already know that we have elections in 2023. Mm. INEC has released the list of the candidates. We already know the presidential candidates. Mm. Mm. I feel that maybe what should be our own greater preoccupation is putting the issues of public interest mm. between the candidates that have emerged. And mm. irrespective of how their internal organizations will affect mm. you know, their chances, mm. they are, we have a lot on the table to mm. engage these presidential candidates with. Mm. Uh, as who has been on strike for years, what are they going to do about education? Mm. Uh, what, what are they going to do about you know, you know, health care? Mm. We've discussed the state of the economy, asking good old steps. What exactly, mm. how would they, what would they do differently to stop this thing that you know, Jide says is already making Nigeria a collapsing state, or so even say it's already you know, a failed state. We've discussed our own constituency too, the media, where we're having unresolved you know, murders. Mm. I, I feel that uh, our message to our colleagues should just be let's go out with these issues 
and, and engage them. And uh, if people don't know how to manage the internal crisis and it affects mm -hmm. them at the polls, mm -hmm. it cannot but be. But finally, it cannot be our. It cannot so be our problem how do you see already. this playing out <laughs> at the end of the day, Mojit? Yeah, um, Wike is saying, I, I am not going to leave the People's Democratic Party. <laughs> yeah, I think uh, the article comes to remember that it's not only Wiki that is talking. He has uh, Sheiba Kinde, he has Ovoyo, he has Autumn of Benue, he has Uguay of uh, Enugu, he has Okeze Peas of uh, Abia. He has Donald Duke, Peter yes. Odili, mm. Mimik, former Governor Mimiko, former Governor Fauci, and Elder or the judge with him. So, if you want to wish these people away just because of value, you are talking of about 10 million votes put together because of uh, Yoshia Ayu. So I think uh, the article can to have everything. And I posted uh, something on Facebook that would you rather keep Ayu that can deliver less than 300,000 votes for you or trade away a wiki and a sim that has the capacity to give you between six and seven million votes. And I think that's what the article camp to uh, think about uh, as we approach the September 28th flag off of her campaigns. Uh, you did on the part of article, <laughs> it's as if the die is cast. Article two is not, uh, is not ready to bulge. The way it's talking, that it's only the party constitution, it's only the neck of the party, it's only the considered authority within the party that can remove Iocha Ayu. That's, He's, he doesn't want to do that, doesn't want to rock the boat in any way. He said he cannot force Ayu. Hmm? He said he cannot force yes. Ayu to Ayu reason. Ayu. When they, don't forget that even when they talk about the fact that they pass a vote of confidence, but a lot of those governors stayed away from that meeting. Where that vote of confidence, confidence was passed. So you look at the governors who are present, that's just a few of them. It, the, it's, it's a bad one Love for Atiku. Wike would not leave the party. I said that a long time ago because he wants to install his candidate as governor. So he won't leave the party. Mm -hmm. But he said something. He said, have you not seen where the party won House of Assembly seat and didn't win governorship? Mm -hmm. Which means that you can actually have an election on the same day and with people voting for uh, different parties. Mm -hmm. We see uh, uh, Loye, uh, Saraki yeah, used to yeah. do it in old Quara. Mm. Yeah. He would tell them, so what mm. is this uh, Saturday? Edibo phone, so what dollar? So he would tell them and they would listen to him. So he Let's go. Um, unfortunately, even in reverse, it's looking like a one party state now. Wow.